Hello, I am Juan Bastos. Welcome to my show, which is titled Juan Bastos California Portraits. This is the Denver Fine Arts Gallery in West Hollywood and it's November 2017. You will see portraits of different clients, some of myself, some landscapes, and even some dogs and a rabbit. The portrait that is behind me is one of Valerie Sobel, one of my favorite subjects. She is a woman with great style and sophistication. And when I saw what she was wearing, I thought she looked a bit like Catherine the Great. It was an honor to do a portrait of portrait painter Don Bacardi. Here you can see him and his painting of Christopher Isherwood. They lived together for over 30 years. This is a pastel of Queen Singer. I did two portraits of her. This was the preliminary portrait for then doing the oil painting that was more ambitious with her hands and the body and background and much larger in oils. In art school, I ended up doing a sketchbook of only self portraits as an assignment. Anyway, as the years go by, it's interesting to face that mirror and see the reality of it. I'm standing next to the portrait commission of the children of Jamie and Vicky Iovine done in the year 2000. It was my most ambitious portrait commission at the time. After all, not every day you get to do a six feet tall portrait with four figures. I am very, very happy to see it after 17 years. It has been many years since I saw this painting and now this exhibition brings all these portraits back and it's just interesting to see them one next to each other. These are two pastels. One of them, Hatton Wilkinson, El Conde de Alastaya, and his wife Ruth. When I met Hatton, he was at a beautiful party that they had at their home. The home originally belonged to Tony Duquette, and now they live in this beautiful property and they built a beautiful home next to it. This is a pastel of my client, Carol Shapiro. Carol asked me to do a portrait of her with the intention that this was going to be inherited by her son, her only son. And she said, Juan, I don't want a glamorous portrait. I want a portrait that reflects the love that I have for my son. And uh, I said, well, very little makeup. And then she said, while I'm posing, I want to express the emotion that hopefully you will capture and then he will remember me. Now we're going to see an oil painting that I did several years ago. My client, Zona Miller, was this uh, lovely uh, subject, and she still is. And I decided to do a portrait of her like this. No dog. She didn't have a dog 13 years ago. So eventually, I uh, she got the dog just a few years ago, and she said, Juan, I would love to have a portrait of the dog, Balu, but I would like a portrait with the dog. Is it possible to include him in the painting? And there it is. So I went back to my painting years later, and I included the dog. Here we are with some noted people. We have Rudolf Nureyev, Gore Vidal, that I got to know pretty well, and he posed for me. Susan Santag, Charlize Theron, Ian McKellen, and Patricia Morrison. Patricia Morrison is a dear friend of mine. The reason why I have done these portraits is because the literary magazine, The Gay and Lesbian Review, worldwide, hired me to do the covers. They said, Juan, we can only afford a certain amount, but the portraits are yours, and you get to know the people. This painting is a commission that this lovely woman wanted with her pet rabbit, Sugar Plum. First, Stanley Evans asked me to do her portrait in the San Francisco area, and her mother was an artist, and I thought, let's add something personal into this portrait. That's why you will see a painting in the back. Man's best friend, Dasher, Penny, Frida. Dasher, unfortunately, has passed away many years ago. Nevertheless, 
my client wanted to surprise his wife. And once the portrait was given, he said, I'm a hero uh, in my family. He was so pleased that I was able to capture and bring Dasher back. I enjoy painting California seascapes. I go biking with a friend and I see all this beautiful scenery, which is great inspiration. I met Sebastian when he was three years old, not longer a child anymore, but I keep thinking of him when I met him. I became good friends with his parents and they always wanted a portrait of him. Finally, he turned 14 and they mentioned, okay, it's time. So I painted him in his garden. He grew up in a beautiful property surrounded by lemon trees and avocado trees. Here you have three institutional portrait commissions, all of them in oils. Behind me is a portrait of Audrey Barr for Good Samaritan Hospital. Then right here is the donor Salim Zilka for the Keck School of Medicine at the University of Southern California. And next to him, the donors Andrew and Erna Viterbi for the Viterbi School of Engineering. Here we have an oil painting that I have done of my client Nahama Jacobs and her daughter Alexandra Vini. We met 20 years ago and Nahama wanted a portrait of her daughter and her then. But they moved out of town anyway, something happened, something else. And finally, the day came that they were both portrayed in my oil painting. We decided that I was going to do it with that outfit and it worked very well. So you have to always consider what are they going to wear? How is going to be the composition? You have two people. What is uh, the feeling that they're portraying to each other? In any case, two other women, older, from India. Uh, her son is a client who commissioned a portrait of his mother and his aunt. So when they came to Los Angeles, he asked me to do a pastel. And I just love all the colors and the fact that they're older and so much expression in their faces. And next to this portrait, we have an oil painting, which is an early portrait from 1998, Maria Vidal. Maria is a songwriter. And thanks to her and this painting, I ended up doing a second portrait of her that is not here, commissioned by Desmond Child, who wrote La Vida Loca. Anyway, when he saw this portrait of Maria, they are very good friends. And he said, oh, I want a painting of you, Maria, a big one. And I did that. But the painting doesn't uh, have uh, a home in California. It has a bit, uh, I believe, a home in New York. But anyway, Maria is originally from Cuba. And the painting reflects a bit that evocative feel of the 1940s. Here we have three pastels of three siblings. The girl, Lily, and her dog, Hazel, had a funny story. When I finished the portrait, there was no dog. And the mother said, I love it, Juan, but we forgot Hazel. I said, who's Hazel? The dog. Which dog? The little one. And then I thought, I think we can handle that. So I was able to remove the hand from her knee, bring the dog into the portrait, and in pastels, which is really hard, uh, bring the dog with her. And then I added a little bit more lipstick and the portrait was finished. Here you can see a portrait of little Georgia. The grandmother wanted all the grandchildren painted at the age of five. She was number one. Anyway, lovely little girl. I don't like portraits of children smiling with teeth. I don't like anybody smiling with teeth. I like the fact that they have some mystery behind. Otherwise they become two dimensional portraits. It's an oil painting. Here is a portrait in a book uh, of my client Eugenio Lopez, who is a wonderful art collector from Latin America. Uh, he has the Museum Humex in Mexico City. Uh, I couldn't borrow the portrait, but anyway, I have a book with his portrait right there. On my right, you will see the pastel of Camilla and Clinton Hooks when they came over to the house many, many years ago. The mother was pregnant and she said, I want a family portrait, but let's do the children at this stage and eventually we'll have a portrait with the entire family. Indeed, that happened some years later, and I did the five of them. This is a pencil drawing of actor Richard Harrison. It took one sitting. Uh, he was a well-known actor in Europe, and he lives currently in California. An oil painting of Larry Platt, 
Chairman of the Board, Cedar Sinai Medical Center, Dean Robert Rasmussen, USC Gold School of Law, a pastel of J. L. Singer, a pencil drawing of Dr. Alan Shabo, a pencil drawing of Meryl Georgie. This is a double portrait with my husband Tom. At the time he was not my husband, but this painting has been painted uh, 22 years ago.